Oh, sorry I'm late. Shh. Oh, right. You want peace for our bonsai club. Shh. That's your seal. <laughs> Are you done? Almost. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'm Brandon, and welcome to the So and So Show. As you can see, my co-host John isn't here with me today, but I've been told that a substitute host should be here any minute. So, we, oh, there they are. <laughs> ah, hi. Hello. Hello. Are you Brandon? Yes, Brandon. And you are? Ah, uh, Peter, Paul, and Maria. Peter, Paul, and Maria. Yes, but you can call me Pete. Okay. Pete. Hello. You look familiar. Huh? You. Me? No. Huh? What? <laughs> I don't know. Me? Hmm. Hmm. All right, so here's the deal. I'm not really Peter. I'm John, <laughs> the co-host of the So-and-So Show. But I'm on a show today called Undercover Host. In a world of media celebrities that are meant to be a voice to and for the people, one man has made it his mission to discover who is a good host and who needs to find a new gig. Find out today on another episode of Undercover Host. So, uh, you see, it's me, but uh, I'm worried Brandon may suspect something. Yeah, I know it's John, but I'm going to have a little fun with him before I tell him I know. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, you know, I usually sit there, actually. Oh, of course. <laughs> hey, you didn't know that since it's my first time here. Well, yeah, right. Well, um, so. Oh, you want me to move? Yeah, yeah if you don't mind. Oh, uh, but of course. Okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's great. What? All right. The way you walk is so cool. How is that? All right. Well, you know, like... I great. do not walk like that. Yeah. All right. All right. I think we should do the show, uh, if that's all right. Yes, yeah, we should. Hello, right. everyone, and welcome to the So and So Show. I am... Uh, Peter? Yes, very good. Yeah. A good host always remembers people's names, and this is Brandon. We have an incredible show for you today, don't we, Brandon? That we do, Pete. Uh, uh, you know what? I have to say that that was a really great intro. Way, thank you. Yeah, clear, precise, to the point. Thank you. And your voice, yes, is like authoritative and welcoming. Thank you. Yeah, much better than my usual co-host. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You are way better than John. <laughs> way better? Oh yeah, way better. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, so, um, 
apparently Brandon thinks my undercover host is better than me. <laughs> is it that my undercover host is that much better or that Brandon thinks his regular host, uh, me, uh, isn't that great? <laughs> well, this is a job for undercover host. <laughs> okay. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, I just went over. I uh, mean, uh, you, shall we continue? Absolutely. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it sounds like you don't think too highly of your co-host. Uh, John, was it? Oh, no, no, no. John is really holding me back. And the only reason I keep doing this show is because he lets me use his basement studio. Well, uh, do, do you think there is anything he could do better? Where do I start? <laughs> his shirts? That hat? Does he even wash it? Maybe he, it's something he's trying to establish as part of his on-camera persona. Oh yeah, because he has nothing else. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, it's nothing. Zero. Zilch. <laughs> Nada. <sighs> I just really want John to admit it's him. Am I being a little mean? Yeah. Too mean? Uh, I, I knew being an undercover host would be hard, but this is brutal to hear what Brandon really thinks of my hosting. I just didn't think. I, well, I, I, thought, I thought we were friends, and, and, and to hear this, it, it just, it's not what I signed up for. I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, and then John is like, hidey ho, look, I don't know how to stand up like a normal person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's falling down all the time. He's clumsier than an ostrich waking up from anesthesia. <laughs> Brandon? <laughs> yeah. It's me. What? Yeah, I'm not actually Peter. <laughs> of course. What do you mean, of course? Well, come on, man. I knew it was you the whole time. You did? Yes. I mean, I got you good. Well, if you knew it you was me, to... why did you say all those things? I was just joking around with you. Well, if I'm honest, it really hurt my feelings. Oh, come on. It really hurt my feelings. Okay. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, guys. Um, want to talk about it? Oh, John over here can't take a joke. Brandon said some pretty mean things. I was kidding. I am clumsier than an ostrich waking up from anesthesia. <laughs> That's funny. It cuts deep, Brandon. It cuts deep. It's pronounced anesthesia. Anesthesia. All right. Don't make fun of me. You know, we have a Bible story today about a couple of friends that had to work through something that happened to them. Great. Take it away, Kellen. Come on. Our story today comes from the book of John, and it's about Jesus and Peter. The two of them had been through a lot, and Peter was one of Jesus' best friends. But Jesus knew that Peter was going to do something terrible. It all started after Jesus was arrested and taken away. Peter followed to see where Jesus was being taken. While he was there waiting, three different people asked him a question. You also were with Jesus of Galilee. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. You aren't one of Jesus' disciples too, are you? No. Hmm. Didn't I see you in the garden with Jesus? No. No. 
When Jesus needed him the most, Peter pretended like he didn't even know who Jesus was. Well, over the next few days, Jesus was killed, buried, and then he rose from the dead. That was incredible. But Peter had to still be thinking about what had happened between him and Jesus. Was Jesus disappointed? Angry? Well, Peter would soon find out. One night, Peter and some other disciples went fishing. They'd been fishing all night and hadn't caught a thing. That's when someone appeared on the shore and said, Friends, don't you have any fish? No. Throw your nets over the right side of the boat. That's where you'll find some fish. Right side of the boat? Sure, okay. Hey, why not? Fellas, what do we have to lose? Are you kidding me? Uh, we can't pull this in. Uh, it's too heavy. Uh, 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 who? Who is? It is the Lord. It, it's. It's Jesus. Peter was so excited to see Jesus, he could not wait. He jumped in and swam to shore. When he got there, Jesus had already been making breakfast out of fish and bread. After they had eaten this breakfast, Jesus asked Peter a question. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? Yes, Lord. You know I love you. Feed my lambs. Jesus knew the time was coming for him to leave the earth. Now, there probably weren't any sheep on the seashore that day, but Jesus, many times before, had referred to himself as the shepherd and his followers as his sheep. Jesus wanted Peter to take care of his followers. But Jesus asked twice more. Peter, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know I love you. Take care of my sheep. Peter, son of John, do you love me? Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Feed my sheep. Just as Peter had said three times that he didn't know Jesus, Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him. It was probably hard for Peter to hear Jesus ask three different times if he loved him. But even though Peter had messed up and really hurt Jesus, Jesus still loved Peter and made things right with him. The end. It's a great story, Kellen. Yeah. Sure thing. I think y'all got it from here. Yeah, I think we do. Thanks. You know, that story got me thinking. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very funny for me to say those things about you. Sorry. Well, thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you think I'm a good co-host? Yeah, you know I do. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh, well, then you know what to do. F feed your sheep? No, 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 <laughs> reveal the question. Okay, uh, re reveal the question. <laughs> When is it hard to make things right? Whew. It's hard when you accidentally break something that belongs to someone else and you don't have money to replace it. It's hard when you say something that hurts someone else's feelings. I mean, you can't take back your words once they're out of your mouth. Oh, and it's a, it's a given. We're going to mess up sometimes. We're going to say and do things that hurt friends and family. And friends and family are going to say and do things that hurt you too. But we should try and make things right even when it's hard. That's right. Hey, remember, we have an incredible example in Jesus who showed us how to forgive. Mm. Indeed. I think that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, but we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show with your new host, uh -huh. Lyle Poppin J. Markowitz the Seventh. We're gonna have so much F-U-N fun. Brandon? Brandon? Where, where did Brandon go? No. Who are you? No, 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 no it's Brandon! Fine. No, it's me, John. Ah! No, really, it's me. Are you? Ah, Brandon! Okay, you reveal the question. 
Well, what's the question, popsicle stand? I usually wait for it to fall from the ceiling oh. and onto the onto the ground there, but uh, there's not one. So let's make up a question. All right. Why are cheese? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've often thought about that one. And I think it's because the milk got old. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>